It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Tuesday night basketball, game two, Grizzlies at the Spurs, 105 to 83 Spurs in game one. I'm Rick Heron for the Line Makers on Sporting News. As we're now going into game two. Spurs were tremendous, shot 58% in the first quarter, shot 52.6% for the game, made 14 out of 29 threes. And honestly, aside from the run that the Grizzlies made in the third quarter to cut it to six, they basically weren't in the game uh, anywhere after the first quarter. They were down 31 to 14 after the first quarter. I don't think uh, San Antonio can play that well again. And I don't think that the Grizzlies are going to play that badly again. I still think it's a pretty evenly matched series. Uh, the Grizzlies' defense allowed 89 a game in the regular season. They allowed 92 a game in the playoffs going into this series. Gave up 105 to the Spurs. Zach Randolph had two points, and that didn't. those two didn't come until 926 left in the game in the fourth quarter. Uh, one out of eight from the floor. You know, uh, Tony Parker, 20 points and nine assists. Kawhi Leonard, 18. Danny Green, 16. Uh, Matt Bonner made four out of five threes. Uh, Spurs are the second best field goal percentage team in the league. But when a team gets embarrassed like that, on a big stage like that, I always look for a big effort coming back in the next game out of the team that got embarrassed. You, can't, you know Zach Randolph's not going to get two points again. He's their leading scorer and you know they're going to play better defense than they did in game one. I still think it's a knockdown, drag out series. I'm looking for the Grizzlies plus the, it's now five, Spurs five, 182 and a half. I'm looking at the Grizzlies plus the five and Grizzlies on the money line in game two.